Hey what's up guys I'm Matt here and in this video we are going to compare the H11 Ultra and MT8 Ultra smartphone as you all requested. Before we start make sure to hit the subscribe button. So first of all in the boxes of both of them we get the wireless charger, ocean straps and user manual. H11 Ultra comes in 49mm size and even fits the Apple Watch Ultra case on it. The MT8 Ultra comes in 48mm size. The dimensions of H11 Ultra are 49 into 43 into 13.8 while of the MT8 Ultra it's 48 into 43 into to 11 mm so both of the smartwatches have the holes on the right and left sides just like the apple watch ultra but on the h11 ultra all of the holes are open and looks original while on the mt8 ultra all of the additional holes are closed and doesn't look like the original even the lower row of the speaker holes on the mt8 ultra are closed while on the h11 ultra all of them are open so on the back side both of the smartwatches have the strap locks and the real screws and here we have the wireless charging and health sensors so on the product details both of the smartwatches don't mention that they can be used while taking bath or swimming so i wouldn't recommend to use them directly in water the chip used in h11 ultra is rtl8763e and in the mt8 ultra it is rtk8763ew both of the smartwatches are advertised to have 256 mb of rom the h11 ultra has 1.91 inches display with 425 into 518 resolution the mt8 ultra is advertised to have 2.0 0 inch display with 396 into 484 resolution and here is the bezel size comparison the side button on both of the smartwatches cannot be customized on h11 ultra it is used to access the sport modes and on mt8 ultra it is used to access the music controller so let me show you all of the watch faces So the horse watch face on the H11 Ultra is themed and can change colors when you tap on it. This watch face also has two themes but it doesn't change it when you tap on them. It is divided into two watch faces. The watch faces on the MT8 Ultra are also themed and you have to use the scroll key to change the theme of the watch faces. Watch faces on both of them are also interactive and you can access the applications which are shown on the watch face. H11 Ultra has two menu styles. One is this honeycomb menu style. It also get the icons which are similar to the watch OS and the transitions of the icons into small Smaller size is also similar to the original Apple Watch OS. And the second one is this list style. The MT8 Ultra comes with 5 menu styles and they are really unique and it has its own theme and the icons are not similar to the watch os h11 ultra also has the calendar application while as far as i have checked the mt8 ultra doesn't have it and as far as i've checked both of the smartwatches don't have the torch option both of the smartwatches have nfc h11 ultra can receive notifications from almost all of the applications using the qi fit application while on the mt8 ultra you can only receive notifications from a few applications using the meto fit application both of the smartwatches have two screen of dials one with the analog clock and one with the digital clock on h11 ultra you can choose a screen of dial from the settings if you want a pointer or a number dial mt8 ultra doesn't have these settings if you're on this watch face with a digital clock it will use the screen of dial with a digital clock and if you're on a watch face with analog clock it will use the screen of dial with the analog clock on the h11 ultra the screen of dial can stay on for a maximum of one minute while as far as i've checked on the mt8 ultra it can stay on forever h11 ultra also has tap to wake but it only works for four to five seconds after the screen of dial turns on and after five seconds it will stop working the mt8 ultra doesn't have tap to wake h11 ultra also has the always on display option which means the screen will always stay on and will only turn off when the battery dies the maximum screen time for the mt8 ultra is 30 seconds both of the smartwatches have the battery clock mode so whenever you put your device on the charger it will turn on this always on display with clock on it so now let me show you all of the languages supported by them Both of the smartwatches come with heartbeat, blood oxygen level and temperature checker while the MT8 Ultra also comes with the blood pressure checker. So you can check out my shorts video channel where I will be uploading 1 to 2 short videos daily of comparing the Apple Watch Ultra replicas with the oximeter. So I'm gonna be leaving its link in the description box below so you can go and check it out. Both of the smartwatches can add alarms directly in the smartwatch without having to use the watch application. Both of the smartwatches cannot set separate ringtones for the phone messages and alarms. Both of the smartwatches 
devices have a speaker and microphone and using bluetooth calling both of the smart watches can be used to make calls directly from here and also receive calls directly on them and you can hear the next person from the speaker of the smartwatch and talk directly using the microphone on the smartwatches and using bluetooth calling you can also access the voice assistant directly on the smartwatches the h11 ultra is advertised to have 450 mh of battery and can give you 7 days timing on normal usage and 15 days on standby mt8 ultra is advertised to have 380 mh of battery and can give you 3 to 5 days of timing on normal usage and 7 to 15 days of timing on standby and i started the video with both of them fully charged while h11 ultra is still at 100 percent while mt8 ultra's battery has fallen to 95 percent so let's compare the maximum brightness so here's the maximum brightness on a darker watch face and here is one on a similar watch face and looking directly at them i can say that the h11 ultra has a higher brightness level as compared to the mt8 ultra and will have a more clear display in the daylight although mt8 ultra also has a quite brighter display and the display of mt8 ultra will also be visible in the daylight but the h11 ultra will have more visibility and clarity so now it's time to compare the smoothness so in this menu both of them look almost same so let's try scrolling So the smoothness is almost the same, it's just that it's faster on the H11 Ultra and it's slower on the MT8 Ultra which has nothing to do with the smoothness, it's how the software of both of them works. Let's try the touch response. So I will have to say that the H11 Ultra had a better touch response as compared to the MT8 Ultra. So when you receive a notification, you get this notification banner on the MT8 Ultra, while on the H11 Ultra you get a full screen prompt. I really like the new style on the MT8 Ultra. So guys, these were all of the comparisons that I could think of. If you still want to know anything, then let me know about it in the comment section below. So after using both of the smartwatches, I might say that the H11 Ultra is a better choice as compared to the MT8 Ultra. A lot of users have reported that MT8 Ultra shows many issues including unexpected restarts, disconnection from the watch application, shows incorrect battery percentage sometimes and also the settings reset on its own even though I've turned on the always on display but it has been disabled by itself as you can see here and I'll have to enable it again. While as far as all of my subscribers have told me H11 Ultra has been working great for them and also the H11 Ultra comes with a better display, better colors and also the icons are are similar to the watch os and it also fits the apple watch accessories like a case while the mt8 ultra is one millimeter smaller than the apple watch ultra and comes in 48 mm size so you can find the link of full reviews of both of these smart watches in the description box below and if you want to purchase them i'm gonna be leaving the links in the description box below so i would really appreciate if you can use those links to purchase these smart watches you can subscribe to my shorts channel for the comparisons of these apple watch ultra replicas with the real health devices and make sure to subscribe to this channel for more videos like this i will catch you in the next one until next time this is imad peace out